Hi guys, Eric here. I'm going to show you how to get your Facebook friends into Teamsy. This is super easy, so just follow with me and I'll show you how to do it. First, come to your Facebook, and it has to be on your computer. You can't do this on the mobile app, guys. It's got to be on a regular computer browser. You'll see this little drop-down menu right here. Click that, and you're going to look for Settings. There it is right there, Settings, okay? Once on your Settings page, you're going to click right here where it says Download a copy of your Facebook data, okay? Click that and then click Start My Archive. Okay, this is gonna give you everything, everything that you've ever had in Facebook, but I'll show you which file you need for Teamsy. Okay, so now we get to put in our password for security. Um, once you submit that, now it's gonna ask you to go ahead and start my archive. That's what you wanna click next, okay. All right, so now what it's telling me is that it's gonna email me the archive when it's ready. So just to let you guys know, it could come instantly or sometimes it takes a little while. It might take 10 minutes, an hour, two hours. I've even seen it take up to a couple of days. If, if a couple of days have passed and you have not received your archive from Facebook, check your spam folders, guys, because the most common thing that happens is that it is spammed from Facebook as some sort of promotional email. So check your spam filters. In fact, I would recommend starting to check those folders right away um, if you don't receive it right away. Okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until we have that email, and we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so I'm back, and it took exactly eight minutes to get the download from Facebook. You can see here is the email saying download is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Okay, and what you're going to get is a link. Okay, you're going to get a link. Once you put in your link, it's going to ask you for your... I'm going to click download archive, okay? It's going to ask you for your password again. This is good, right? There's some security. You should feel good about that. Okay. Once you do that, now you can see it started downloading right there. It started downloading that file. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a second to download. And I want you guys to know, when. well, we'll let that download and I'll show you how to now get it ready for Teamsy. I'm gonna pause while that downloads. Okay, so that file is now completely downloaded. Now let me show you how to get it into Teamsy. So you're going to go to your downloads, and this may look a little different for you depending on your browser. I'm on a Mac, and this is Safari, but if you're on any sort of computer, you go to your downloads, your download folder, and you pull this. There's the fo folder. I'm going to pull it onto my desktop. Okay? Pull it onto your desktop. The reason why you want to pull it onto your desktop, guys, is this is a zipped folder. You will not be able to do anything with a zipped folder. You have to, you have to open it to... Um, because it's a compressed folder, you have to click on it in order to convert it to a regular folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open this folder up. And that is going to create, it's going to unzip it for me. And now you can see it's opened up three different folders. So it's opened up here. And you can see there's an HTML folder, a photos folder, and a videos folder. So what we want is in the HTML folder. We're looking for the friends list. So I'm going to go ahead and expand that down. And there it is right there. See that file friends.htm? That's our friends list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this folder over onto the desktop so I so I have it separated from all that mess. Okay, so I've got that. There's my friends.htm folder. It's there. Okay. So now I'm going to jump into Teamsy. We've got it open right here. In order to upload this folder, you may already be in... Um, your setup wizard, in which case you're on that page, you're ready to go. But if you're not, there's a couple places you can go. You can go to team, okay, we'll toggle over to the team page. Right here where it says import, import contacts, okay? And this is that page that we need in the in the um, setup wizard in order to upload the contacts. The other place that we you can go to find this page is you can go to settings, okay, and then customer data and there's an import button here, okay? So there's a couple ways you can get you can import in, or of course, if you're in the setup wizard, you can go from there. So um, I'm gonna go back over to team, because I think that's where most people will do it. We're gonna go import contacts, okay? So now I'm on this page in the setup wizard. When I click choose file, it's now gonna start looking for the file. So what I'm going to do is actually use, I'm gonna go to my desktop where I put it there to be easy. There it is, friends.htm, there's my file. Select that one. Okay, click choose. A lot of people get caught up in this because they try to upload this whole zipped folder and it doesn't work. And they get very frustrated. Don't want you guys to get frustrated. If you follow the steps, it will be easy. Now you can see it uploaded the file. See how quick that was? Now I'm going to hit continue. And um, 
you don't even have to worry about this because it's ready to go. It says awesome. They've mapped all of our columns. We don't need to worry about that. So we're going to click continue. Okay. So now it's starting to create my contacts. Okay. So I've got 1,527 contacts coming in and it's putting them all, it creating them all into Teamsy. And that's it guys. That's it. You just wait a minute while it uploads all those and it does it and it is that easy. Okay. So the whole process here took me 15 minutes get Facebook in. That's probably the longest piece of anything that you'll do in the setup wizard. But I hope that was really easy for you guys. Um, if you have trouble with any parts of this, the steps are written out um, on the FAQs page of the university. Okay. Um, but also click the uh, purple help button if you need additional help getting this in. It's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth going through the trouble of getting your Facebook friends in because then you'll be able to work them in a systematic way and really get your business going. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon. You can see that's just about done already.